study the behavior of multi-story building with consideration of non-structural element. Abstract, non-structural elements are not a part of the main load resisting system. Non-structural elements are those elements within a building that are not considered to be part of either the primary or secondary structural systems. Because of that these non-structural elements are often neglected from the structural design point of view. Performance of past earthquake is clearly defined the absence of non-structural elements it has resulted in poor performance in life of buildings. In absence of design provisions for non-structural elements and their attachments which result in huge loss of human lives and structural damage. Non-structural elements such as signboard, ceiling, architectural elements such as, parapets, cladding systems, signboards, etc. and mechanical equipment such as, for example, boilers, piping systems, fire protection systems and electrical equipment such as electric motors, light fixtures, etc. Indian Seismic Code is 1893, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 and Part 4 2002 does not have specific provisions on design of non-structural elements and their connections or attachments. This paper shows the application of a displacement sensitive element like signboard through solved example. And shows different parameters such as base shear, displacement, mass participation, time period, node displacement, beam displacement, and effect of non-structural element, signboard, of the building by using STID software. Keywords, non-structural element, seismic analysis. I. Introduction. The behavior of a building during earthquake depends on its overall shape, size, and geometry. The seismic performance of both regular and irregular shape buildings, depends on the height of building along with other important structural parameters the design of every structure subject to seismic movement should consider that the non-structural elements in buildings such as ceilings, panels, windows and doors as well as equipment, mechanical and sanitary installations. Non-structural elements should be designed to resist the seismic forces or seismic relative displacement depending on their nature. During an earthquake, the non-structural elements are subjected to large relative displacements depending on their nature. These are three types of risk associated with the earthquake damage of non-structural elements, loss of life or injury to building occupants, loss of property especially in commercial buildings, loss of function of an important building or lifeline structure. For example, fire-resisting system, communication facilities, telecom center. The design of every structure subject to seismic movement should consider that the non-structural elements in buildings such as ceilings, panels, windows and doors as well as equipment, mechanical and sanitary installations. Non-structural elements should be designed to resist the seismic forces or seismic relative displacement depending on their nature. Several parameters have been considered, for example, dynamic amplification of the component relative to the fundamental period of structure, ductility, redundancy, and energy dissipation capacity of the element and its attachment to the structure, vertical location of the element in the building importance and weight of the non-structural elements itself. Classification of non-structural element 1. 1. Acceleration sensitive. 2. Deformation sensitive. 3. Both deformation and acceleration sensitive. 1.2.1 Acceleration sensitive. Acceleration sensitive non structural elements should be designed according to the force provisions. Acceleration sensitive non structural components are vulnerable to sliding, overturning, or tilting. Mechanical and electrical components are generally acceleration sensitive. Connection Connection and attachment shall be bolted, welded, or otherwise positively fastened without consideration of frictional resistance produced by the effect of gravity. 1.2.2 Deformation Sensitive Non-structural components are regarded as deformation sensitive when they are affected by supporting structure S deformation, especially the interstory drift. Good performance of deformation sensitive non-structural elements can be ensured in two ways. I. By limiting interstory drift of the supporting structure in case of important non-structural elements. 2 by designing the element to accommodate the expected lateral displacement without damage. Seismic Relative Displacement 
Seismic relative displacement equations are provided to support the selection and design of cladding, stairwells, piping systems, sprinkler systems, and other components that are connected to the building at multiple levels. DXA equals deflection at building level X of structure are due to design seismic load determined by elastic analysis, and multiplied by response reduction factor, R, of the building as per is 1893, Part 1 2016. DYA equals deflection at building level Y of structure are due to design seismic load determined by elastic analysis, and multiplied by response reduction factor, R, of the building as per is 1893, Part 1 2016. HX equals height of level X to which upper connection point is attached. High equals height of level Y to which lower connection point is attached. Dot A equals allowable story drift for structure A calculated as per 7.11.1 of is 1893, part 1 2016. HSX equals story height below level X. Where? DYB equals deflection at building level Y of structure B due to design seismic load determined by elastic analysis, and multiplied by response reduction factor, R of the building as per is 1893, part 1 2002. Dot of equals allowable story drift for structure B calculated as per is 1893, part 1 2016. 1 1.3.3 both acceleration and deformation sensitive. Some components may be both acceleration and deformation sensitive. They must be analyzed for both forms of response, that is, Design seismic force and seismic relative displacement. 2. Historical background. 2.1 Design philosophy and design provisions in various seismic codes. Gautam Mondal and Sudhir K. Jain 1, in this study is concerned with the contains proposed provisions for inclusion in IS 1893, detailed commentary of the proposed clauses as well as some solved examples of the seismic design of non structural elements. This paper also shows the application of these provisions for equipment, equipment supported on vibration isolator, and for a displacement sensitive element like signboard through. Solved examples. Gautam Mondal and Sudhir K. Jain 2 in this paper, Design of Non-Structural Elements for Buildings, a review of codal provisions. This paper reviews the design philosophy and design provisions of several international seismic codes and compares design lateral forces recommended in these codes. Eurocode 8, UBC 1997, IBC 2003, and ZS 4203 1992 and is 1893. Eurocode 83 This code requires very important and dangerous non structural elements to be analyzed by making a realistic model of the relevant structures and using floor response spectra. The design provisions in Eurocode 8 take into account ground motion, structural amplification, soil factor, and self weight, flexibility, and importance of the non structural element. Uniform Building Code, UBC, for this code, describe the Uniform Building Code, UBC. Recommends Design Seismic Forces, FP, for elements of structures and their attachment, permanent non-structural components and their attachment, and the attachments for permanent equipment supported by a structure. Attachments of furniture and floor or roof-mounted equipments weighing less than 181 kg are exempted from this requirement. Attachments include anchorages and bracing system. International Building Code, IBC. 5 International Building Code 2003 recommends that the non-structural element should be designed to satisfy both seismic force and seismic relative displacement requirements. IBC 2003 also recommends minimum design seismic relative displacement, between two connections of a component having multiple connections same structure and two connection points on separate structures. The effect of seismic relative displacements shall be considered in combination with displacements caused by other loads as appropriate. New Zealand Code, NZS, 6 The New Zealand Code specifies seismic forces on all parts of structures, including permanent non-structural components and their connections, and the connections for permanent services equipment. Supported by the structures. 
This code also recommends that the connection for regular structure should be designed by capacity design concept. Indian standard is 1893, part 17 different codes assume that floor acceleration varies from the ground to the roof linearly, the acceleration at the roof is generally assumed as 2 to 4 times that at the ground level. In most of the seismic codes, a response modification factor is also included to account for the overstrength and inelasticity of the non-structural element and slash or its connections. In general, the design seismic force specified in the above codes should be applied for the non-structural element if its mass and slash or stiffness does not affect those of the main structure significantly. When the mass and slash or stiffness of the non-structural element affect significantly those of the supporting structure, structure and non-structural element should be analyzed together considering the flexibility of the elements and its support. Gautam Mondal and Sudhir K. Jain 8, in this study is concerned with the contains proposed provisions for inclusion in IS 1893, detailed commentary of the proposed clauses as well as some solved examples of the seismic design of non-structural elements. This paper also shows the application of these provisions for equipment, equipment supported on vibration isolator, and for a displacement sensitive element like signboard through solved examples. Suresh L. Dhanani, Sumant B. Patel, Snahal V. Mavatan 9, this research paper a numerical study has been carried out to investigate the seismic response of non-structural elements. The time history analysis has been performed to obtain the displacement and acceleration of non-structural elements which is placed on various floor of three-story asymmetric building. It is found that the displacement of non-structural elements is minimum at center of first floor. It is observed from literature survey that the review the design philosophy and design provisions on non-structural elements contained in several international seismic codes. One paper reviews and compares the design provisions of non-structural elements in different seismic codes and provides a basis of making a draft code for Indian scenario. The paper contains proposed provisions for inclusion in IS 1893, detailed commentary of the proposed clauses as well as some solved examples of the seismic design of non-structural elements. In Eurocode 8 code requires very important and dangerous non-structural elements to be analyzed by making a realistic model of the relevant structures and using floor response spectra. In Uniform Building Code, UBC, this code described the Uniform Building Code, UBC, recommends design seismic forces, for elements of structures and their attachment. New Zealand Code, NZS, code also recommends that the connection for regular structure should be designed by capacity design concept. In Indian standard is 1893 different codes assume that floor acceleration varies from the ground to the roof linearly, the acceleration at the roof is generally assumed as 2 to 4 times that at the ground level. In most of the seismic codes, a response modification factor is also included to account for the overstrength and inelasticity of the non-structural element and its connections. In general, the design seismic force specified in these codes, Eurocode 8, UBC, IBC, NZS, should be applied for the non-structural element if its mass and stiffness does not affect those of the main structure significantly. When the mass or stiffness of the non-structural element affects significantly those of the supporting structure, structure and non-structural element should be analyzed together considering the flexibility of the elements and its support. The provisions of seismic relative displacement should be included for displacement sensitive elements that are attached to the structure at multiple points, for example, piping system, stairwells, cladding, etc and it is necessary to define clearly the displacement sensitive and force sensitive elements. Amplification of lateral force that increases with the increase of vertical location of the non-structural elements should be included for the design of the non-structural elements and their attachments. The importance factor for various types of non-structural elements should be defined clearly. A parameter should be included to take care of flexibility of the non-structural elements and a modification factor should be considered that represents ductility, redundancy, and energy dissipation capacity. Codes generally recommend that the non-structural elements should be designed for much higher seismic coefficient values than the supporting building itself. 
Most of these codes provide simplified method to obtain design seismic force which depends on the response of its supporting building, size, and weight of the element, relative location of the element in the building, flexibility of the component, etc. Three objectives. To study the different parameters of the building such as base shear, displacement, time period with respect to non-structural elements such as sign board. Four preliminary data considered for the analysis. A. Material properties. Assuming, G plus 18 number of story are considered. The plan is having dimension is 30.36 x 17.15 mm 30 grade of concrete and site location is Delhi which is in zone 4 and the height of each story is 3.0 m. Having inner and outer wall thickness is 0.15 m slab thickness is 0.125 m frame type is ordinary moment resisting frame, OMRF and soil type is medium or stiff soils. Also, considering grade of steel is FY500. Following fig shows the non-structural element resting on the roof of the building as signboard by using point load in the STID Pro model. Fig.01 G plus 18 story structure. Following fig shows the plan shows the loading plan view of non-structural element resting on the different floor of the building as signboard by using area load in the STID Pro model. 5. Problem Formulation A. Details of the pole Hoarding board Size of board is 3M x 6M Section is used 0.05M x 0.05M pipe, for bracing Signage is hanged on 0.038 mx 0.05 m pipe covered with ACP panels. Steel column of diameter 0.35 m is provided to support the frame of hoarding. Type of structure, steel structure. Parameters. VZ equals design wind speed at height Z, in m slash s. K1 equals probability factor, risk coefficient, CL 6.3.1 in the design of structure a regional basic wind speed for terrain is considered. K2 equals terrain roughness and height factor, CL 6.3.2, selection of terrain categories is mainly depending on the effect of obstructions which constitute the ground surface roughness. K3 equals topography factor, CL 6.3.3, the effect of topography is to accelerate wind near the summits of hills or crests of cliffs, escarpments, or ridges and decelerate the wind in valleys or near the foot of cliffs, steep escarpments, or ridges. See design of a large signboard attached to a building. Problem statement. A neon signboard is attached to a 18-story building in Delhi, seismic zone 4. It is attached by two anchors at height 10.0 m and 6.0 m. From the elastic analysis under design seismic load, it is found that the deflections of upper and lower attachments of the signboard are 45.0 mm and 35.0 mm, respectively. Find the design relative displacement. Solution Since signboard is a displacement sensitive non structural element, it should be designed for seismic relative displacement. Hx equals height of level x to which upper connection point is attached, 10.0 m. High equals height of level y to which lower connection point is attached, 6.0 m. Deflection at building level x of the structure are due to design seismic load determined by elastic analysis equals 45 mm. Deflection at building level y of the structure are due to design seismic load determined by elastic analysis equals 35 mm. Response reduction factor of the building R equals 5, special RC moment resisting frame, table 7 of is 1893, part 1 2002. 2. Alternatively, assuming that the analysis of building is not possible to assess deflections under seismic loads, one may use the drift limits. Maximum interstory drift allowance as per clause 7.11.1 of is 1893, Part 1, 2002 is 0.004 times the story height, that is. 6 Results and Discussion 6.1 Result This paper shows the application of a displacement-sensitive element like signboard through solved example. 
and shows different parameters such as base shear, displacement, mass participation, time period, node displacement, beam displacement, and effect of non-structural element, signboard, of the building by using STID software. 1. Modal time period. It is the modal time period of vibration. Time of 4 seconds. In G plus 18 building with consideration 2 signboards, non-structural element, then the maximum model time period is 6.3216 SECS. Obtained. The effective mass participation factor represents the percentage of the system mass that participates in a particular mode. In G plus 18 building with consideration 2 signboards then the maximum mass participation in Z direction is 84.540% obtained. Base shear is an estimate of the maximum expected lateral force on the base of the structure due to seismic activity. It is calculated using the seismic zone and soil material. In G plus 18 building with non-structural element the base shear values for X, Z are more. In X direction 24,413.39 knots and in Z direction 24,301.25 knots. For node displacement. Node displacement is the overall motion of the object or the minimum distance between the starting point of the object and the final position of the object at node. In G plus 18 building with consideration of non-structural element building node displacement values for X, Y, and Z direction are obtained. And maximum nodal displacement is 106.169 mm. 5. Beam displacement. Beam displacement is the overall motion of the object or the minimum distance between the starting point of the object and the final position of the object at beam. In G plus 18 building with consideration two signboards beam displacement values for X, Y, and Z direction are obtained. And maximum beam displacement is 851.78 mm. 1 in G plus 18 building with consideration two signboards 2. Maximum mass participation in Z direction is 85.255% obtained. 3. Base shear is calculated using the seismic zone and soil material. In G plus 18 building with non-structural element the base shear values for X, Z are more. In X direction 24,413.39 knots and in Z direction 24,301.25 knots. 4. Node displacement is the overall motion of the object or the minimum distance between the starting point of the object and the final position of the object at node. In G plus 18 building with consideration of non-structural element building node displacement. Values for X, Y, and Z direction are obtained. And maximum nodal displacement is 2612.87 mm. 5. Beam displacement is the overall motion of the object or the minimum distance between the starting point of the object and the final position of the object at beam. In G plus 18 building with consideration 2 signboards beam displacement values for X, Y, and Z direction are obtained. And maximum beam displacement is 14.836 mm. 6. It also necessary to analyzes the structure with consideration of non-structural elements due to that the additional load is acting on structure and we get better behavior of the building. 7. Conclusion The main aim of this research was to study the behavior of multi-story building with consideration of non-structural elements such as signboard. I and this paper 2 signboard are considered on two columns. Then the behavior of building parameters such as base shear, displacement, mass participation, time period, node displacement, beam displacement, and effect of non-structural element, signboard, of the building by using STID software. Following conclusions are drawn based on the result discussed in the previous chapter. Non-structural element, then the maximum model time period is 6.3216 SECS. Obtained.